guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at some custom die cast. So let's get right into it. Alright, so let's take a look at the first die cast. And as it's falling out of its packaging. Okay, the first die cast is Kurt Busch's 2021 Monster Energy Car. So let's just take a look at this packaging real quick. So up here, it says number 45, and then ZNC Wave 1. And then it has Kurt Busch right along there. ZNC Athletics up at the quarter there. Um, right here, it's got like the little green stripe. I actually painted that one green stripe on right there because I missed doing it in Photoshop. So I had to find the closest color I could and kind of paint it on. But let's open her up and take a look at the die cast itself as the hood falls out. And we don't need to look at the hood yet, so let me just kind of put that hood back in its package for now because it wasn't supposed to come out yet. Now these are old NASCAR Authentics packagings, as you can see, because on the back it's just old NASCAR Authentics. This, I believe... Yeah, this was Eric Amarola's 2020 Smithfield suit, so, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at it. Um, let's zoom back in. Okay, so um, this is a real paint scheme that was going to be in NASCAR, so I did make these die cast, as you can see, it had ZNT on the package. So on the front here, we got the um, NASCAR Cup Series banner. Now, it's a little, uh, I mean, the clear coat, because this used to be like an old custom, and I painted over it so you can kind of see like there's a little bit of lumpiness, I guess, where the clear coat was. But in my opinion, it looks really, really good. Um, I preserved the front end of the original die cast. Now, this was not a die, like a racing die cast. Well, it was a racing die cast, but it did, wasn't like a driver's die cast. It was like one of those, you know, 2018 cars with the track logos on it. So, on the hood there, you could see Monster Energy. On the front here, you got Toyota Camry. The side, you got number 45, Monster Energy. Um, and then the Monster logo, and then you can see, like, the next-gen um, pipes and stuff. On the back there, you got Toyota Camry. On top, again, number 45. On the side, you got number 45 again, Monster Energy. Um, the next gen thing again, and then tires, Goodyear tires. Now, um, the tires that actually came with this car looked like this. They were blank, didn't have any writing on them. That's how the rest of the cars will be, but I stole tires from this Jeff Gordon car because um, I got another one in my Black Friday haul. Haven't posted the Black Friday haul as of this video going out, so you guys wouldn't have seen that yet. But this is a very, very cool die cast. Um, Maybe I'll make a little banner to go on the back that says Bush. I don't know. I really like the way this looks. And um, my other Kurt Bush Monster Energy custom that was shown in my first room setup tour video actually got turned into one of the other customs that I'll show you later on in the video. But this is a very cool car. Let's take a look at the hood that comes in the package uh, as it falls off. Oh, and the base was glued back on. Um, That's just a little strand of... Uh, hot glue and then I used um, Mod Podge actually so you print out these decals just on normal printer paper I made a whole um, um, you know um, tutorial on that um, a while ago and I will actually link that down below as well as all my sizings for everything like my sizing for the decals sizing and everything so I'll link that down below um, and I use Mod Podge I put it on the back of the decals put it on and it sticks on and then use Mod Podge just to cover the decals with to give them know the shiny look and that works really well um i also used that method to make this car which i actually was the one i made in the tutorial a while ago um so yeah this is a very nice die cast i really really like the way this looks so let's put him off to the side and take his hood out of there now i did put a casey kane hood in there with the kurt bush hood over top of it for some reason because i scanned in like the case, like the Joey, I scanned in a Joey Logano hood and used it as like sizing. It did come out a tad bit small for whatever reason, 
but it still works really well, still fits in there, even without the Casey Kane hood behind it. I just put that in behind it to hold it in place because my package was kind of ripped open. So um, let's take a look at the hood. It just kind of says Kurt Busch there, the Kurt Busch logo, and then the Monster logo, and you got the few hood pins there. It's literally just some printer paper that I printed on. Um, I put it over top of the Casey Kane hood and kind of just slid it in there. So, um, I'll put it back in there right now, as I will with the Kurt Busch car. I will put the Kurt Busch back in here. And you can kind of put the package upside down and just kind of tap on it, and they'll kind of go into place if they're not going into place the way you like. Now, make sure you don't bend the hood when you put your car in there if you do make one of these, because, I, like I said, I'll leave... Um, sizing and everything a little hair got in there i'll take that out after the video but so this was the first car i'm going to show you again with the packaging i just took printed it out on my paper mod podge on the back stick it on plaster it on mod podge on the front works real nice um the next car we're going to take a look at we're going to do toyotas and then chevys i don't have any fords done yet as i don't have a ford donor car so um i might get a donor car soon next up we have christopher bell's 2021 or 2022 actually um dewalt um toyota camry um this is a very nice car again with the packaging it just says znc wave one got the christopher bell 20 up there the christopher bell actually had the um this car was one of the harder ones to make because my um yellow um paint was actually quite see-through and so i had to do a lot a lot of coats on that um, I kind of, I put white down first and then put the yellow on. You can see it's still not an even coat. This was uh, a uh, Bubba Wallace um, car, a Bubba Wallace Custom that I made. Before I got the real one, I used water slide decals for Bubba Wallace. It didn't really turn out too well, so I wasn't too mad about um, getting rid of it. But on the hood there, you can see the hood vents. Um, I did not include those on Kurt Busch's car, the hood vents, um, simply because you could not see them. For like the, the life of me, I could not see them on the Kurt Busch because um, they were just like blending in with the black. So I didn't, I didn't include them. Um, so you got Dewalt there on the hood, um, all the hood pins, you know, two um, hood vents on the front. There you got the Toyota Camry front nose. I did have to print that out because this one was already painted over from when I did the Bubba Wallace, but. Um, Sunoco right there. They got NASCAR Cup Series um, 20. I tried to make it look as reflective as I could. DeWalt and then um, those logos will be Offer Pad, Lincoln Welders, Mobile One, Mac Tools, and then Ream, I, and then Pristine Auction. And then you got like the little 2022 DeWalt design there, design. And then you got American Ethanol. Um, like again, I like I said, Pristine Auction. Then on the back, it's a little small, but you see, because the sizing is really weird because you can't make it too big because then the size, the sides would be the right size, but then the top would be too big and the deck lid would be too big. So you got, and then the front would be too big. So you just kind of got to go with what you got. Um, the sizing that I will link below is all good. And I will link the template, the templates for all of these if you want to make them on your own. Um, so on the back there, it got Dewalt Toyota. 20 and then Toyota Camry lights and Camry. Um, same thing that I showed you on the other side on this side. The top there got the 20 and then the little um, camera and then DeWalt. The front banner on this one got a little messed up but I was able to um, keep it from getting any worse. Also as did this um, decal right here it started to peel back and I pushed it back real quick put some Mod Podge on there. Um, it worked out very nicely. Um, I really, really like the way this one turned out. Um, it looks pretty cool. Let's put it over on the side and take a look at the hood that comes with it. This does not have a hood behind it. Maybe I should put a hood behind it. So as you can see, let me try to pick it up. Okay, Christopher Bell. Here's the Christopher Bell logo. And then Dewalt there. And then you got all the hood pins. Um, it's like the exact same color as the car i try to make them the exact same color but sometimes that doesn't really work out um the kyle larson one the red on his he doesn't come with a hood um i'll show it to you later oh, that diecast is very cool and i'll explain how i made that one because that is even cooler 
Um, but yeah, this is another really cool hood. Um, you could put it on the, like, put a Joey Logano hood behind it, because I recommend if you put a hood behind it to hold it in place in the package. I recommend getting one that's the same color. So, just, and you gotta find little inserts like this that fit, because let me grab another one down here on my floor. You can see each, um, a lot of the inserts are different, so like this one goes with one that comes with a trading card, and this one would go with one that comes with a hood, and you see they're different. They are different shapes, so you gotta find the right one. Um, that's why I like to keep my NASCAR Authentics packages, is so that I can do amazing projects like this. Um, now this, um, I don't know, this insert might be an old one, so the car might have been the other way around in the package. Uh, no, no it wasn't. It fits nicely. Again, with the packaging, just Mod Podge works really well. I used the Kyle Busch throwback M&M's packaging, so it, the colors were exact, and so that, I was really lucky with that, as you can see, um, I did this in Adobe Photoshop, by the way, but you can do it in GIMP, um, Photopea, pretty much any photo editor, um, PixArt Draw, you have that on, like, the, I don't know if it's, I don't, it's not called PixArt Draw, but, um, it's what it is. It's exactly what it is. Next up, we'll take a look at Alex Bowman's 2021 Ally Chevrolet Camaro. I, I, I keep saying 2021. I'm sorry. 2022. It's because we're in 2021. 2021. Okay, yeah. Um, so, I get a package up there. You got the purple 48 ZNC Wave 1. Alex Bowman. And then you got the purple here on the die cast. And, uh, let's pop this diecast open and take a look at it. I think it turned out really well. Um, that's kind of flaring up there. I'll fix that. It did go on a kind of crooked, the back plate, but, um, it still looks good. You're not going to see it when it's hanging on the wall or when it's on your shelf. On the front there, I'm really proud of myself because this is the first front fascia I did. Also, one of the customs I did way back in the day was, um, this, this beautiful thing. Now, I put a lot of clear coat on this, so it's, like, very smooth. Maybe I should put more clear coat on these. This feels, like, more papery than this does, even though I did clear coat that. As you can see. But, um, let's take a look at the design on this car. Uh, sorry, I just bumped my desk there. Um, I got that, um, turquoise line, the pink line, and then the purple line. And that, um, all leads into the hood. The hood looks really cool with the hood vents on it, and I, that just turned out so good. Chevy logo right there. Um, if we go to this side, you got 48, Ally, NASCAR Cup Series, HendrickCars.com, um, and then Ally, do it right, right there. And then, um, you got, like, the design there, got the Valvoline logo, um, Ally on the deck lid, and then 48, Ally, do it right, right there. And I'm not gonna take this out of the package because uh, I probably won't do that for Larson either, but Alex Bowman Racing, Inc. right there, and then Ally, and then the Purple 48 up there. So that turned out really nicely. Um, let's put him back in his package, and we're actually going to take the Christopher Bell back out for a minute um, before we get to the Larson, because I forgot to do something with the Christopher Bell, which was compare it to the 2021 design. So let's go ahead um, and compare it to the 2021 diecast, which was officially made by Lionel. So as I get the 2021 diecast out of the package, um, so obviously Kyle Larson's 2022 paint scheme has not been revealed yet. So um, I will explain all of that when I show his 2022 diecast that I made. I'll explain how that all works. Um, so here's the 2021 diecast um, logos. A lot of the logos are in the same spot so um um got i mean the design is so different it's kind of hard to compare i obviously love the design of the 2021 one better and i think a lot of you do too um bell on the front there as opposed to the cup series banner because i couldn't get the right font for bell on the back there i got d walt this same thing pretty much back there Kind of comparing the designs. 
Um, obviously the front fascia on this one does not look as good as the one on this one. But they both, this one does look alright. It does not look bad by any means. And on the hood there, I guess I could have made the DeWalt logo a little bigger. But it still turned out alright. So let's put, I almost put this one back in the package. I mean, I guess I could. I mean, it doesn't say 2022 anywhere on the package. There. How about that? We're not gonna do that, because that's not how it's supposed to be. Let's put the custom back in the package. And then let's get that the hood. Dude, it's not wanting to go down in there. There we go. Now we can take a look at the Kyle Larson. Boom! Here's the Kyle Larson design, and I love his trinket the best. It says Kyle Larson on it. And then got Kyle Larson, the render of the car, actually. I made renders of all four of these. You'll see that in the thumbnail. But, um... The render looks amazing. Um, I made this art, so... I actually made this design, too, so... The design of the car was completely made by me. You can actually download it to use it in NR2003 on paintbyraw.com. I will link that down below. All you have to do is sign up for a free account, and um, some of my downloads will be at the end. Um, it, all, it says author, and then it'll say who made it. Um, always on mine, it will say ZNC is author. Um, I think the first one I made actually actually says Zach ZNC, but um, other than that, let's dive right into this die cast. I really love the look of this um, design. Um, I made the front fascia for this one too. This one did not turn out nearly as well as the Christopher Bell front fascia did, but um, we are also going to compare this to the 2021 die cast. Um, and it's gonna look amazing. Now, I try to make most of these custom die casts that I make. I try to make them of, like, real cars that actually raced. But I thought this design was really cool and really wanted to make a custom of it. So, I went ahead and did it. Um, let's take a look at it compared to his 2021 die cast. Um, both of them have HendrickCars.com right on the hood there. Um, this one has... Um, hood vents, they did kind of blend in, but I still included them for some reason. Um, on the side there, um, you got a white 5 as opposed to a blue 5. And then a white HendrickCars.com logo as opposed to a blue. And on a white background as opposed to a blue. Um, they both look really, really cool. Um, Cup Series on this one. Cup Series. This one does not say Tarleton on it. Um... Uh, we got a little bit of some mistakes with decals on the back here. Um, I know Lionel did mention in one of Eric Eastep's videos that they don't make the decals themselves. A third party company does and then they do a print press onto the um, die cast. So I guess that kind of explains. So we can't really fault Lionel. Actually, we can fault Lionel for the decals because the company that makes the decals sends them to Lionel and Lionel applies them to the die cast. So we can't fault them for how the decals themselves look design-wise, but we can... We, well, design-wise we can because Lionel employees make them. They just get printed by a third-party company. But we can't really fault them if, like, let's say something is printed wrong, like something's printed in the wrong spot. We can't fault them for that. Um, like, let's say a Tarleton logo is supposed to be here, but it gets printed here, um, and or something gets printed sideways. It's probably because of the company that prints the decals, but, um, on the back there, um, it says Nation's Guard. So, yeah, so, like, this, this little error right here, like, something got printed wrong, it kind of smeared a bit. That's not a bubble, a, de a decal bubble. That's just from the people who printed the decals. That has nothing to do with Lionel, so I can't fault Lionel for that. Um, the design looks really cool on both of them, actually, on the back here. You see HendrickCars.com, Camaro, Z01-1LE. Um, Camaro, Z01-1LE. Um, this one does not say HendrickCars.com, but maybe I could update it to say that. This one does not have Goodyear on the tires, but I do really like the way 
they both look. Let's take a look at the trinket that came with Kyle Larson again, just because I think it's so cool. Um, the little render there um, looks really, really cool. Um, 3M and Sunoco up there. That was not on this one. Sunoco was only on this one. Um, and then, obviously, that's where the die cast would go. So let's put him with that. Go like this. And um, let's line them all up. I'm going to line them all up on my desk and just give you like a shot of all of them. There is all of them. Got Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, Alex Bowman, and Kurt Busch. They all look really, really, really good. Um, and I'll just put him on top of him. Him on top of him. Oh, Alex Bowman. We had a car to compare to Alex Bowman, too. I am losing it today just because I was so excited to show you all these cars. Um, let me move some of these out of the way so that we can do a quick, quick, quick comparison. And I am sorry for wasting your time a bit, but um, I got the Alex Bowman 2022 Custom. And then Jimmy Johnson's 2020 um, rally car. Because uh, in the reveal um, thing that um, Ally did for this car, they put hashtag rally on it. And um, as you guys probably know, this is the rally car. And they do have a lot of similarity, similarities, except for like the turquoise. I wish they would have just went with this design, pushed the number forward and called it the day. Because that would have looked much better than whatever freaking this crap design is but um whatever the reason was that they went with this design all right i respect their decision but just wouldn't have been my decision um they just do have a few similarities um i do not have a car to compare to the kurt bush because they i don't have any monster energy die cast i have the monster energy logo on it wish I had that Kyle Busch 2012 Xfinity, like, promo car that had the Monster Energy logo on it. Um, but good luck freaking finding that anywhere for a good price. And I'm too broke to buy that one, so that's not going to happen. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. I will also leave the link to all of the stuff I used to make these cars down below. And I will also leave a link to the tutorial on how to make these cars. And with that, thank you guys for watching. And have a great day.